Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about solving systems of three equations with elimination. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, negative 4x minus 5y minus z equals 18, negative 2x minus 5y minus 2z equals 12, and negative 2x plus 5y plus 2z equals 4, and we need to solve this by elimination. So the goal here, I'm trying to find two equations that when I add them together, they can eliminate some variables. And I look at this last, the second two equations. All right. I know if I add them together, I can eliminate a variable. So let's go rewrite this and we'll see that out. Two, negative 2x minus 5y minus 2z equals 12. Negative 2x plus 5y plus 2z equals 4, okay? So when we add these together, what do we notice is going to happen? Well, I can see that the 5y's will cancel. Negative 5y plus 5y is just a 0. And negative 2z plus 2z also cancels. And this is pretty cool with this equation that two variables will cancel. So when we add them together, we know that's going to cancel each other, and this will cancel each other out. And we're left with negative 2x plus negative 2x, which is a negative 4x, and then 12 plus 4 is 16. Well, divide 4 to both sides, and x is by itself, or negative 4 to both sides, and we have 16 divided by negative 4 is a negative 4. And so we actually, very quickly, by elimination, found one of our answers, x equals to negative 4. So now we have to combine two other equations, again, see what we can do and get another variable to eliminate. If we could deal with the first equation and the with the last equation, yeah. So if we rewrite that here. Um, let me put a little line here, a little box. If we rewrite the first equation, negative 4x minus 5y minus z equals 18. And the last equation, negative 2x plus 5y plus 2z, and that equals 4. If we add these two equations, what will get eliminated? Well, again, the 5y gets eliminated. We can see that here. So negative 5y and positive 5y, but not much else, right? So if we add it, negative 4x and negative 2x is a negative 6x. And then negative z plus 2z is plus 1z. 1z. 18 <laughs> plus 4 is 22. But we found a, a value for x to be negative 4. If we put that in for this, this x right here, we have negative 4 here, then we add a z equals 22. And now we have an equation that's just one variable we can solve for that variable. Negative 6 times negative 4 is a positive 24, plus z equals 22. Subtract 24 to both sides, and z is now by itself, and 22 minus 24 is a negative 2. So now we have two of our values, z is negative 2 and x is negative 4. We need to find the y. So we can pick any equation that we want here. Um, I try to find one that might be easier, but we're going to plug in the z and the x value to get y. So let's go deal with this last equation right here. Negative 2, uh, and instead of x, I'm going to put a negative 4 in, plus 5y. We don't know the y. We're going to find that one. Plus 2 times the z value, which is negative 2. And that's equal to 4. So let's go solve for y now. Negative 2 times negative 4, positive 8, plus 5y. And then 2 times negative 2 is a negative 4. And plus a negative 4 equals 4. Combine our like terms. 8 plus negative 4 is a positive 4. So we have 5y plus 4 equals 4. Subtract 4 to both sides. 5y equals 0 and divide both sides by 5, and y equals 5. So we actually have the answers for each one of our variables. We can write it as a single statement, negative 4 for the x, 5 for the y, or sorry, ah, oh, almost messed up there. If you caught that, see, this is what happens sometimes, you gotta hit yourself. Good thing I caught it. If you caught it, let me know down in the comment section below. But you divide 5 to both sides, that's still 0. Oof. I almost made a common mistake, so gotta catch yourself y is 0 here, and then the z value is negative 2. 
So we can write this as one statement of negative four, zero, negative two to represent the values for x, y, and z. And that is our final answer. I hope this video was helpful, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math.